Hello Visual Effects people, this is Fluid Ninja Live 1.2 with an experimental level. I was wondering what is the largest structure that we could drive using Fluid Ninja Live? And so this one is like 1000 kilometers. And we have a volumetric cloud system and this ocean surface thing, which is also responding to the objects that fall down from the sky. And so, let's have a quick look how it works. So, um, we are in Unreal Editor and these two levels are going to be linked under the video description and so we're, I'm selecting in the word outline a ninja live container and here uh, I could visualize um, this yellow rectangle this is the interaction volume this is detecting these uh, fall down spheres And so the simulation is running and we are writing out the simulation buffers to external render targets. You could see them in the content browser by going to the volumetrics subdirectory. And as I run the simulation, uh, we could watch uh, the pressure waves. These are written to the ocean surface, uh, adding emissive and distorting the geometry and the normals. And we have the density. Uh, you could see that the impacts are actually erasing this basic background noise. And we have a velocity field, which is driving um, the flow of the noise structure laid upon the clouds. And we have two anchor points in the scene. If I go to the word outliner, I'm selecting anchor two and pressing focus and this takes me a bit higher so uh, having a look from this height looks like this um, it starts with a generic noise my favorite the crumple and oh, I'm zooming in a little bit and so this noise is slowly building up the simulation And these objects colliding with the interaction volume are erasing the density and creating these pressure waves. And if I make <laughs> this artificial sunset, you could see how this emissive material is ruling the place. So that's how it looks like. And having a final look at the material that is reading this information, uh, going to the content browser, volumetrics, and here we go. We have like an additional material for the ocean. And this is the most important part uh, where I'm reading these external render buffers. The emissive is driven by the pain buffer and the pressure buffer. It's like a combination. And we have a mixture of noises uh, creating the ocean surface. And we have uh, a distortion for the normals to make like proper changing reflections. And the clouds are using the default uh, base material already included in the official package. So uh, you could download this whole thing and copy it to your own folder structure. And we have one more level, level 28. And on that level, I was trying to recreate uh, like a natural phenomena, a cyclone. I 
again it's slowly building up um, I could set it up like properly start in this swirling state but I was using a simple torus shaped material to create the whole thing so at the moment it wasn't that important and again I'm jumping to another anchor and let the simulation build up playing with the water surface a little bit so it's like 1000 oh sorry uh yeah 1000 kilometers yeah <laughs> so the whole planet is like 6000 kilometers in diameter and so uh, this structure is like 1000 kilometers so uh, thank you for your patience and the whole thing will be included in the next version of ninja live and until then you could just download it see you next time